Hello and welcome to our video series on the GIMP 2.4. Now in this video we're going to be introducing you to the color picker tool and that's this guy right here. Looks like a little eyedropper up here. And you just click on that or you can uh, a little shortcut on your keyboard is just hit the letter O on your keyboard that will bring you to the same spot. Now down here in our dialog box here you can see the additional options available to us and we've got sample average, we've got sample merged and this comes in handy whenever you're trying to get a color that is on top of, well it's basically using different layers or additional layers whereas right now this is our layer dialog we only have the one layer here that's this guy here and we can got uh, some pick modes we got pick only, set foreground color, which is the default, set background color, add to palette, or the use info window. And this is pretty cool too, it just gives us additional information. So I'm going to check that. And let's go ahead and go over to this particular uh, palette that we have or layer. And if we click on this, it brings up our color picker information. Let me move this guy down here so we can see our foreground and background colors. Well, this gives us the uh, some additional information, the hexadecimal number here. So if you wanted to match this with what might be on our web page, we're trying to copy uh, colors for, say, our header image to our ebook cover, uh, for example. But we want to go here. This gives us the same information for this particular image on our palette, and so on. As you see, it's changing the foreground color here. Whereas if I check this one it would change the background color. Okay, And let's go ahead and create another layer over here and I'll show you the sample merged as well. Go ahead and close this guy out here. And to create an additional layer, we just go over here in our layer dialog box, click on this guy here, it gives us a new layer. Now I'm going to name this one blue because that's what popped up. You can name it anything you want, you know, whatever. But we're going to name this one blue because if you haven't guessed yet, I'm going to put a blue color here. Foreground color, let's go ahead and change that to, because right now it's this burnt umber, let's go ahead and change it to a blue. And this is our color dialog here, so you can see I changed the foreground just by clicking over here. And same size, same dimensions, looks good. Now then, the blue layer is on top of or above this other layer. Now we can change this with this highlighted. We can move this down and it becomes um, uh, lower than or it, it's behind this layer. But for the sake of this video I want to show you, let's move it back up and we can change the opacity or the transparency of this blue. So this will start to bleed through the lower this number gets on this slider bar here. Go all the way down to zero and basically it's invisible. But let's put it right about here and let's go ahead and click on the sample merged. Now then whenever I click on this image here it won't be the green as we see here it will be the green as we see now with this mask of blue over it. You see? And same here. So again this is just another way in which you can create additional colors and if you like that then you can go to add to palette and you would bring this up here and you can name your color here and you can click on save and now you've got some new funky color that you just made up. Again that's what you can utilize this uh, radio button for here, add to palette. But that's just a quick introduction to the color picker tool. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Hope you're going to find ways where you can apply this to your work. Thank you much for watching.